You guys don't want to hear me sing. Believe that. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. Yeah, you know, I'm holding it down one more time for Power Director University. I've had a few requests over the last few years to show you guys how to go ahead and get down with some karaoke style text. So I'm gonna show you how to break down some karaoke text in Power Director using Power Director 14 Ultimate. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate. Yeah, that's right, I'm in this, and I'm gonna show you how to get your karaoke thing on. But before I do that, I wanna give you a few quick tips. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, yeah, the one below this little window, click on it. It lets other people know that this content is good. If you leave me comments, I will give you answers, all right, people? So, if I can't help you, I'll point you in a direction to get you the help that you need. And last but not least, you gotta subscribe, all right? If you don't subscribe to this channel, then you're gonna be missing out on the Power Director love that I bring you on a regular basis, and you won't know when I upload a video. So if you wanna learn and have a little bit of fun on the side, make sure you subscribe. All right, let me show you guys how to do this karaoke thing. Now, first thing we wanna do is we wanna set up our background. So your background could be a picture, it could be whatever you want it to be, but I like it to be a color board. So I'm gonna go up here and make sure that I'm in the media room, all right? Now in the media room, where we wanna to go to this drop down here where it says media content, I wanna click on this and I wanna to go to color boards. This is gonna allow me to go ahead and add a specific color as my background. So I guess I will use this blue color here. I'm gonna drop it down into the timeline. And right now, I guess we got about, what is it, five seconds. And I'll make it a little bit longer just in case. See, that's about 15, 14 seconds. I can tell how many seconds it is. It has it in the little white pop-up box right there. So I'm gonna leave it here at about 15 seconds. Next thing we need to do is we need to set up our first layer of text. There will be two layers of text in this video. Now, if you just want to know more about using the title room and things like that, I got a great video on that. You guys can check that out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on the title room. And I'm just going to use the default text. So I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to drag it down underneath the color board all the way to the left on track two. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my cursor here on the right until I see two arrows. I'm gonna left click and hold this down and drag it out until this little playhead turns black. That means that they're now both at the same exact point. So I know that they're both the same length. So now I'm good to go with that. Next thing I can do is I can double left click on this title or I can click on modify. I'm going to go ahead and click on modify. So now that we're in the title designer, I need to start typing in the text for my song. And I'm gonna make a separate object for each line of text. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So here I'm gonna go ahead and left click in here and start typing in my text. So this is my first line. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, how about that, that'll work. So I'm gonna change the size up to 26 for this one. Now I'm going to place my cursor in a position where I have crosshairs, and I'm gonna just drag it up to a position I want. And then I'm gonna click on the Align Objects button, and I want it to be horizontally centered. So we're good with that. So now what I'm gonna do is I wanna click on this little carrot here so that it closes up this, these options here for the title. And I wanna click on the insert title button. So I wanna add another line or another object for my next line of text. So I click on that and then click where I want. And now I can add the next line.
All right, so I like that. So I'm going to go to the Align Objects button. And I'm going to select Horizontal Center again. And now I'm going to close up this carrot. And the only reason why I'm closing up the carrot is because I want everything to be clean right now. And I'm going to add the next line. And you get the idea. Okay, so I got everything set it up, but this is a big space down here, so I don't like that too much. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down my control key and I'm going to click each one of these line of text with my mouse so that they're all selected. And I'm going to put my cursor here so I see the crosshairs. And I'm going to drag everything up so they're about even. And then I'm going to click on the align objects button again just to make sure that everything is horizontally centered. I'm going to go to horizontal center and we're good to go. So let me go ahead and close up this carrot again. And now you see here that I have four objects and each one of them is a different text. So what I want to do now is click on save. And now I have my karaoke beginnings. So what I need to do now is right click on this title and go to copy. And then right click on the timeline, go to paste. Now I'm going to left click on this title that was created and drag it down to track three right underneath everything else. Now basically what I've done is I've created two of the same thing, one in white and the other one's in white, but now I'm going to change the other one so that it will have color and so that it comes onto the screen to tell the person when to start singing. So since I have the bottom one selected, I'm going to click on modify. And once again, I'm going to click on these little carrots to make sure they're all closed up. I don't need them all open. I need them closed so that I can see what I'm doing here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just add color to all of them. So I'm going to left click each one and hold down the control key. Click on the color. Click on the color I want. If you want to do different colors for each line, and you would just click one at a time and change the color. Now you see they're all yellow. And then the next thing I want to do is go to the effect tab. Then I want to go to starting effect. And I'm going to scroll down until I find wipe right. Could be a tongue twister there. Here we go. Wipe right. And I'm going to select that. And so now what happens is when I play this, you'll see that everything starts off white because that's what it is underneath it. And then it turns yellow. All right, but that's kind of slow and it's all doing it at the same time. So I wanted to do it to the music. Now, I don't have the Star Spangled Banner playing in the background and all that stuff. But we all know how the song goes. And you would be able to do this and change these things up to match the song for what you need. So I'm going to click back on the text tab. Don't really need to do this, but like I said, I like my stuff to be clean. So since they're all selected, I'm just going to click in a space that doesn't have any text so that none of them are selected now. And now the first thing I want to do is click on the first line. It tells you what's in that line right here. Oh, say, can you see? So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to just drag this over here to the left because this tells me how long it's going to take for the yellow to come onto the screen. All right. And I'm going to move these out of the way to the right so that I don't see them animate anything right now. 
I just want to concentrate on this one line. So if the music was playing, I could easily gauge and say, well, when is it when does it stop saying, oh, say, can you see? And I would drag this to that point where it stops. But since I don't have that luxury, I just have to guess here. So I'm going to play it. That's actually pretty good, at least to me. So if I preview this, you'll see the yellow comes onto the screen. And if you're singing a song in your head, that was pretty good. It seemed like that's a good timing for me singing the Star Spangled Banner. So now I want to drag the beginning of the next line, which is by the dawn's early light. I want to drag that to where the person would start saying that. Or if you got the song playing in the background, you know exactly where to drag it to. I don't have the song playing. So let's see again. I'm going to play it. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? So I'm going to stop it here because that's where they would have stopped saying by the dawn's early light, right? Which after the W starts here. So I'm going to drag this to where they would be finished saying that line. So they start and they finish. So I'm going to play it and preview it again to give you another look. And then drag this to where the next line would go and so on. So you get the point, people. And once you finish doing all that, you just hit save. And then if we play this back, you get to see the lovely karaoke in your face. And that's it, power director people. We've got karaoke. All right, guys, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love, people, all right? Comments, leave me comments. I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. Subscribe, all right? You got to subscribe if you want to keep getting good power directed tutorials like this on a regular basis you got to subscribe if you don't you're not going to know when i upload a video and you'll be missing out thanks for watching we'll see you again soon